And what are the primary services that you provide to your clients? Yeah, we're, so we're full service, so that means uh, everything from creative development, production, um, to mobile media buying planning, analytics, uh, and uh, strategy and um, kind of road mapping with our clients is um, where we, uh, kind of the four pillars of what we typically offer. Are there any specific industries that are sort of sweet spots for you? Absolutely, yeah. There's about five or six. Um, the, the kind of businesses that come to us tend to be ones where their business really centers around mobile and it's actually business critical for them, um, the mobile channel. Um, and so, uh, you know, clients in the travel space like Expedia, Hotels.com, um, e-commerce, StubHub, eBay, um, dating actually is taken off quite a bit. It's Scout and, and you can throw social networks in there, so Facebook's uh, working with us. Um, and then, you know, there's music and entertainment, Apple, iTunes, Beats, uh, and then lastly, gaming. Mobile gaming is, as you know, is just driving the industry forward with a lot of investment there. So Supercell and, um, and Pocket Gems and a few others there um, have really been uh, kind of at the, at the forefront of, of mobile advertising. So how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been in mobile for, I, I guess you could say, about five years. I, I've been you know, on the agency side for quite a long time and then, um, but I would say, you know, I was at a digital, digital agency prior to this, really looking at all kind of digital formats and channels, uh, but really coming on as a, as a mobile expert and then Fetch is live and breathe mobile and we're focused on the mobile consumer. So it was a natural transition about three and a half years ago. Uh, to join uh, a group of mobile experts at, at Fetch. A lot has happened in the last three years. Yes. It's Absolutely. moving at a pace that even our most optimistic projections yeah. um, are, are falling short, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Yeah. Um, so looking at w from your career in digital and then in, as a transition into mobile and where we are in mobile in 2015, mm -hmm. what are you excited about? What are you, what are you looking at that, you know, after all this time mm -hmm. and all this work, we're now doing this that's exciting for you personally. What are you excited about that are the mobile tool sets 2015? You know, I still get excited about um, when, when big creative ideas come to life um, through the mobile channel. Um, I think there's just been a lot of education, uh, you know, internally with our clients to really understand the power of, of mobile. And now that you know our clients are on board and really understand what can be what can be done, uh, both creatively and and through media extensions, um, I'm excited about kind of campaigns and how to reach consumers in different ways through that. So, you know. And, and, and platforms that are, are kind of changing the game in that. So Snapchat is a great example of, of kind of this open canvas that um, you know you can and really connect with, with consumers there. And there's a lot of custom content being developed by um, news channels and, and uh, content platforms that now advertisers can get access to. Um, so I think it's uh, kind of that intersection of, of kind of creative, mobile media um, and technology and coming together uh, to create just great engaging ideas. Let's go through some of the things that are being discussed about mobile um, that we've heard in the conference and like proximity marketing. Where do you mm -hmm. think we are with beacons and NFC and the like, you know, and how that is in the mix that you recommend to your clients? Yeah, absolutely. I think it, it makes sense for, you know, a, a certain type of client. Um, um, you know, I think location is, 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 is this buzzword that, you know, is, is the holy grail if we can only target by location and, and where they're at, but there's, I think there's additional layers to, con you know, the context of a, of a user, um, in, in addition to, to location, like their connection type and their device type and, um, you know, their, their context of what they're browsing, that can be just as informative as location. Um, but of course, the brick and mortar and the retailers um, makes a lot of sense for proximity marketing and I think some of those new technologies are still a bit nascent with, um, and that still old-fashioned kind of digital surveys and those types of methods are, are still kind of 
uh, pervasive in terms of measuring actual foot traffic and getting to that holy grail of, did my ad drive a person in store to actually make a purchase? And um, it'll be interesting to see how, how that develops and uh, potentially how, um, you know, there's kind of platforms and apps who are, are trying to solve this problem like Shopkick um, and, and others can really kind of tie the, tie the bridge between advertising spend and actual in-store sales.